Welcome to Beach to Sandy, Water to Wet, a podcast featuring real reviews written by people who just need the world to know what they think. Between you and me, I wanted to like this podcast, but I'd give it zero stars if I could. Okay, okay. Uh, time for my challenge. Uh, this was fun. I, uh, it was really easy because so many emails came in because it was just a fun one. I don't know. I liked it. it what was, is it again? Uh, reviews that mentioned six oh, cats. Six cats. And it was yeah. M's idea based on our first episode, I believe. Uh, and then here is a review that was sent in by Stephanie. And by a review, I mean it was a question and answer um, of this hotel. Kimpton Hotel Monaco, Denver. Uh, so when I first saw Monaco, it's in Denver. Okay. So this is mm-hmm. Hotel, Kimpton Hotel. Here's a question that was posed. Someone posted a review that they saw six cats going into one room, two <laughs> Great Danes in another, and a pig in the elevator. Can this be true? I have reservations at this hotel in the future, and if this is true, I will book elsewhere, as I do not want to pay money to stay in a zoo. I do. That sounds End fantastic. There's a pig in the elevator? Mm-hmm. Sign and there me up. A couple of comments. Someone said, sounds funny to me. Only saw a few dogs and no issues or whatever. And people said, didn't see anything. But then I read the last comment and someone said, yes, I saw a pot belly pig on a leash going into the elevator. And like <sighs> listed these animals. And I was like, oh, this. And they're literally, it tells you whether or not people answering have reviewed this property, and this person did. So I'm like, oh, that must be the original reviewer. So I clicked on their profile and found the review that mentioned (laughs) those animals. So here I'm going to read that. It's a four-star positive review. Here we go. The front desk staff is very responsive to problems. I would give them five stars. In spite of this, I am not sure I will stay at a Kimpton hotel again. They say they are a pet-friendly hotel. I always assumed this meant one small animal under X pounds. I saw six cats taken to one room, a woman taking a pig to her room on a leash, and two Great Danes with one owner in the elevator. I have allergies and would have have many problems in a room that had housed six cats the night before. This may be a chain for pet owners only. End of review. <laughs> and the property oh man, the, <laughs> the manager of the hotel uh, responded and said, "Hello, thank you for your review. Our team was so flattered to read your comments. The great news about our pet policy is that we designate certain floors for pets and certain ones are not, mm-hmm. especially for times that pets beyond cats and dogs stay with us." End of response. All so, the lizards and pigs go to one I, floor. Don't yeah, worry I w- about it. <laughs> I wanted to make sure we clarified all that because I mean, I as far that, as pets yeah. go, and I don't mean to like <sighs> you know, put down certain types of pets. But like, if I were a hotel guest, and I saw like two dogs, six cats, and a pig, it'd be like, this is delightful. I mean, if I saw a giant snake, like slithering down the hall, maybe that'd be a different story. Mm. You know, I feel like there are other animals where I'd be like a little more uh, concerned. Um, But I guess everyone has a different threshold of what pets will and I guess for allergies, that makes sense. But I was about to say that like, I'm pretty sure they have designated rooms. Yeah, for pets, and yeah. They they certainly do. But yeah, you're right. I feel like certain pets I'd be like, uh uh-uh, uh. I don't know. Imagine if I want you that bring like room. um what kind of animal eats cats, Sandy? I, a hawk? I, I don't know. Yes, that's good. Imagine you bring a hawk into one room and the six cats had slept there the night before. You would that hawk would be so stressed out. Like Yeah. That looking hawk would... everywhere for those damn cats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. there's no way you can in over one night scrub out can ha- okay, six cats not to get back to, to an our animal. birds having nose situation or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, Alexander, um, I didn't mean to walk us right into this trap. I'm so uh, sorry. Can can is that something that hawks? Because I do you think a ho- I just oh. I know that wasn't that was this is not your scenario <sighs> was I, I understand your scenario and it has. It's, I guess this they don't important. hunt just, with like, their thinking, noses. Okay, maybe I let's wonder think. if they would react that way. What about though. like what is an animal that smells ca- for cats? <sighs> um, well, a I mean lion? a dog. I feel like if a dog smelled that, would oh a snake. Out. Because they go with their tongue. Oh, they yeah, smell with like their tongue. Smell all the cats. So they're probably the ones that are going to get stressed out looking for the cats and then go sure. into the vent and then end up in my room. Yeah, that's, that's how actually my brain exactly operates. how that works. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what would happen. So normally you check under the bed for, um, for well, killers now I'm adding, in your hotel rooms. Now you got to check the vents for snakes. Well, killers, I, 
is a wide ranging uh, sure. category. So okay. I usually just say that and then anything that falls under like potentially fatal kind of yeah. fits in that character. Okay. Or so in yeah, that category. look for killers yeah. in the vents then I should have said. I do. Um, <laughs> Don't oh, worry. I'm glad you do. I sure do. do. Well, yeah. I checked that they're bolted down properly. That's all. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I'm excited to go on tour so we can check all those vents. Um, and then I look, if they're not, then I check inside if there's somebody hid a drug or a, a drug or a gun. A drug or a gun. Okay. A drug or what a about gun. both? Just for um, fun, you want that? Like, it's like I guess a little, it's, no. It's like just, your, your version of geocaching. You're just like, it oh, is, is there a gun oh, here? Oh, it is. Yeah, great point. Uh, uh, is there a snake under here? Is there a gun in here? It's just like an additional fear because then I think, well, what if they come back for it? You know, like if I were to find a gun in a, in a, uh, what the fuck event. have you been watching? This feels very like, I don't even know. Bluey? Breaking, a lot of Bluey. Bad. I'm like, what, what, what help? show would this happen where someone stashes a gun in any of the hotel rooms you're staying in specifically? Hmm. hmm. I've never thought about it that way. Um, so I don't quite. Hmm. Something, something just ponder. Um, okay. Here's a review. This was also sent in by uh, Stephanie. And this is of a place called Cat Statue. Um, and this is a, a very large statue of a cat that appears to change color, like change, pe- they've painted differently. Oh, fun. Um, and this is in uh, Malta. This is on uh, oh. Sliema, Malta. Um, so here we cool. go. Here is a five star review of the cat statue. I walked along the seafront and came across this. I think the reason is, as there are loads of cats in the park which are fed. It was lovely to see someone looking after them with food and water. I watched about six cats and they were all waiting their turn to eat the biscuits without a fight. All the cats looked very well and some even big fat cats. <laughs> End of review. Oh, <laughs> they waited their turn. Cute. They're so polite. Oh, yeah, very polite cats over there. Aww. And that, and then I went to the, uh, the act, like the, the page for cat statue and sure enough there's a park and it looks like a little like carriers that they sleep in or something or like little beds <gasps> underneath like and there's a cat food barn um oh. and there's a little menu sign and it says dry <gasps> food only fresh water and oh. i guess maybe people or maybe there's a specific like they said so they saw someone so maybe there's a specific volunteer like but bring... it appears that they like allow oh, people like to bring in it? food that's yeah, really nice there are benches nearby and they all have like cushions with like towels or and blankets that they can sleep on and they're just like these little kitties sleeping around here by this cat statue damn don't tell juniper he's gonna move out oh and there's little like cat like bar like this little like it looks like a little coop for chicken oh. or for for cats that they can sleep in they get their own little holes okay probably was for chickens cute, cute, cute. and then the cats were like my and licking their lips like oh, i didn't see any chickens uh, here there's no chickens around here oh, okay here is a review that was sent in by stephanie as well who says in uh in the email yelp is the most annoying and difficult to navigate app y'all really do have a hard job <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's about time the first one acknowledges that ever it. felt that way and um I'm going to not agree Well, with you, I felt that way, but not so not just much. because of Yelp, you know, like for other reasons. But I do appreciate the insight. It's, it's hard because kind. of my fear of being perceived. You know, exactly. That, that, it's that hard is for what makes it more many um, mental instability reasons. But this one also is a very concrete reason that I kind of want to adopt. Yes, it is difficult. I do, I do love this, like that comment, though, because I was like... Yeah, it's not that easy, yeah. is it? Not that Stephanie was doubting us, um, but here we go. Sounds Here's like a, a little bit, <laughs> but anyway. Here's a one-star one review. This is of Black Button Distilling. This is in Rochester, New York. You know, in hindsight, since it's Rochester, I should have seen a uh, Fox wrote a review of this place probably, right? Yeah, um, actually. I should have checked. Oh, well. Here's a one-star review. I don't want to bash the product in any way here. Their bourbon and gin are extremely delicious, and I'm happy a solid product is being made in Rochester. The bar was great as well. My issue was with the tour. Our tour guide was a complete negative Nancy. Using nice words here. I was asked a question about bourbon and answered to my knowledge just to get knocked down in front of the group. I then had to check my phone. My wife was taking a 400-mile trip alone at this time and was yelled at and told her well-being wasn't important upon explaining why I looked at my phone. (laughs) I then tried to answer another question asked by the guide and again was made fun of by the guide. Overall, extremely upset with my guide on hindering my experience. She, parentheses, dark hairs, short woman, six cats, made that clear. 
needs to be reconsidered as a tour guide. Understanding being in the hospitality industry, a positive back and forth between guests is fun, but the way she handled it was not proper. Don't waste your money on a tour here. Just grab a drink. End of review. So I love that. Did they respond? No. Oh. And this is the only like you are being a huge dick. Yeah, this something. is the I will say this is the only person that like uh did reference uh the tour guide tour guide or like at, at least by name and like most of the reviews were all po- very positive. Um so yeah, I don't know. But um she made the six cats very clear. Yeah. <laughs> is that, that supposed to be insulting, I guess? Yeah, I, know. I don't know. I felt like it was supposed to be, but I'm like, but why? Huh? It's okay, like, well, whatever. okay, usually people say that as like self-deprecating kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like even people with six cats would be like, yeah, I'm that guy with six cats, yeah, you know. I'm not, uh, but yep. whatever. Speaking of which, here is my final review. This was from uh, Andy, they, them, who said, My phone autocorrected your name to Candy five times, and now I'm imagining you, imagining you as a middle-aged receptionist. And I was like, <laughs> oh! you know what? Candy, it's just, I will say, I feel like I don't, haven't met many people with that name, but I have a very positive, like, of connotation candy? with that name. I don't know why. I just think of John Candy. Oh, like, that's I'm just, just all I can a first get, name. You can't even get, get past head. that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I know anyone named Candy. I feel like um, then I think of Marcy Playground. But then the other thing I was thinking this morning was about the name Carol and how you don't really see that much anymore um, with in our generation. But I think it's one that might be coming back. Okay. I you know, know those Carol. names where it's like, oh, people yeah. named – you think of like a person named like Patty or Carol. And it's usually like yeah. um, a certain generation. Yeah. Anyway, that's so irrelevant. Huh. But I bet Candy is – I wonder if Candy's ever going to come back. Um, maybe. I don't know. It's a cute name. Um, but it's funny. I do get that so much. Where I mean, but like people who I meet in real life who then like will message me something will put candy. It will auto correct the candy. Oh, mine still then, does. Yeah. Every now and then. But to, they will to correct your name so much, and I'm like, you have no idea how often this happens. Like it's like, just literally normal. all the comments. Sometimes all I'll just way, like, my, like mom podcast. will just text me about candy, and I'm like, yeah. oh, he, she's talking about the <laughs> Yeah, it's just so common. It does not phase me one bit. Um. I got a lot of Xanders recently. People like Xander. When I, when I say I'm Zandy, they like switch. They like say Xander, um, and I know I don't really correct them because I'm like, yeah, I've gone by that name. Technically, like, that, yeah. That I mean, okay, too. well, that um, name is like on the list of like trending names, like mm, for newborns. So that might be weird. why. Maybe it's like okay. coming. It's like more in the zeitgeist because Alexander was always very high up, and now like Xander, it yeah. is going. Okay, okay, yeah. Because I I feel like that happens. I'm surprised at how often that happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always like candy. You can call, you can Still call me not that. broken the top 500. I don't know what's going on with That's that. So strange. It'll 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 make it. Push. It'll bounce back. We'll we'll we'll, let, we'll make it happen. Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway, here is this is my last review. This is of accout- accoutrements inflatable evil unicorn horn for cats. Whoa, okay. That's a lot of um, words you said. And the packaging is a very uh, intense looking black cat with a evil unicorn horn. Okay. If it were less pointy, I would think it was used for other purposes. Um, mm-hmm. It is very... Uh, is it inflatable? Dil- it is inflatable. Okay. But the picture makes it look very... Uh, oh my god, the second photo with the fucking... There's it? a little kitten. Mm-hmm. Christina, this is... Because you know Wild. everyone's going to need to look at it now. And it's going to be um, wow, wow, wow. And uh, we're going to make sure that uh, this gets popped up on the video for our vi- video. Oh, yeah. See, this is a um, perfect example. It's not just our faces. You also yeah. get to see scary cats. It is a, like, screeching kitten <gasps> with <laughs> – it is intense. <laughs> Why does it's it say hilarious. evil unicorn horn? It's that's like so the strange funny. cats love it. <laughs> and then I'll send you, I'm going to send you like the first, that's like the back, I think of the packaging. And then oh, I'll just send gosh. you a picture of the front. Um, yeah. So this is a $7 little thing. It's this looks like one of these like, like prank things you buy at a store. Like a, yeah. Um, what, like what's, a kid, uh, you know what? This might, the, it reminds me of, uh, Oh, Archie McPhee. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is that who that is? Is that what, yes, it, what does it say yes, that what on it, there? That's the brand. Because I was like, did you say accoutrement? Where, where do you see that? Am I not seeing it on that second picture in the top right? How am I not seeing that? Where'd it go? What? In the top right of the 
above inflatable. Oh, the second picture. Oh, Sorry. Okay, I see. Second Sorry. Yeah. Because I sent you the second one first. Oh, I, yeah. I see. Yeah. Um, okay. That makes sense. Well, because they're I kinda went like, to. They make those silly like pickled mints and. Yeah. Because I was I was shit. there in Seattle. Oh, right. Yes. They're up in I feel Seattle. silly now that I like I should have known from the start that that's what I should have like. It's okay. I knew. Attention. But yeah, it does say accoutrements like. And it's not sold by Archie McPhee. Maybe they're just oh. like reselling it. I don't know. Maybe that's just like a know. gift store or something. Oh, they that. sell all sorts of weird sh- – they sell a lot of Archie McPhee stuff. So I – That fits. They're either Archie McPhee or just like buying Archie it's McPhee like stuff and reselling It's uh, like their fancy offshoot. Um, oh, sure. True. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Sorry. Here's a five-star review of this inflatable evil unicorn horn for cats titled Dark Magic Kitty. I have six cats and I took turns – putting it on each of them oh, days no. of fun and worth it for the price. It has a string that is attached in such a way. It actually stays on my bad kitties who tried. Oh, so hard to take it off. Oh no. I got the white one too. And seeing my evil and less evil cats run around the house, trying to get them off made my life worth living. <laughs> Place one on a stuffed animal and sadly a sneak cat attack to punish the horn took place. The cat <gasps> bit the horn and now it has trouble staying inflated. The fault is all mine. I should have put it away after playing with it and only bring it out for fun with people who drop by. Very wow. good product. Don't leave around the house where cats can seek vengeance on it. End of review. <laughs> I was going to say, don't worry because no matter what, the next time you brought that thing out it was going to meet its maker. Like that yeah. cat was going to find revenge even if you hit it for three months. It, it would yeah. remember. And um, uh, there are some incredible pictures. Someone put a, put it on their rabbit. Someone put it on their very <laughs> scary looking cat. Some cats are so chill with it. They or appear chill, at least in the photos. It's so funny. It's so oh, silly. Man. It's so goofy. Yeah, uh, it makes me a little sad, but... Yeah, um, that was my first reaction to this review, was like, oh, come on, leave your I'm poor cats baby, alone. Though. And then I'm like, those cat- cats are fucking menaces, man. They're- yeah. And they don't give a shit. And I love that about them, don't get me wrong, but, like, they're fucking like, menaces. Like, they'd probably do the same thing if I put a sticker on their head or something, like, oh, yeah, not put a sticker not on their head. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something out. that's, like, less invasive around yeah, their yeah. head. No, um, I know what you mean. Um, well, I one time put just, a collar on Moonshine, and he got so freaked out that he – it was horrible. He, I think this is probably why I get kind of wigged out by these because I put this cute little coll- pink collar on him, and then he, like, tried to get it off, and he got his bottom jaw under it, and it got stuck. <gasps> oh, and then he, pity. like, really freaked out. Yeah. And I had to, like, find him and, like, undo oh, – it was very yeah. – anyway, so I was like, no, never again. I, I think right. I just get I, really in my head about it. <laughs> and, like oh. – Honestly, like, I don't know, know your cats and just, yeah, exactly. If they're, if they're not acting, if they clearly are like upset, then don't upset them further. Yeah, like, if you you're know. doing this just to upset them, it sucks. But, but if it, if, if, if on the other hand, if it gives you the will to live, yeah, the, right? I see that line made me think it's like, hmm. what am I gonna do? Be like, stop it. I don't know. It clearly didn't last too long because they deflated it as the soon as they had the cats did what chance. they do and um, ruined, you, ruined yeah. it for you. <laughs> so, uh, and I think their reaction of like, this is my fault. I don't blame the cats. You know, like, of course they destroy mm-hmm. it. And I'm like, okay, they're at least somewhat self-aware about all this. But yeah, I yeah, guess if you have six uh, cats, you'd kind of have to be. Yeah, a that's a, that's a lifestyle that I just like. That's a lifestyle. I couldn't handle. I couldn't handle well, that. Well, so they have, have hotels for that. For that. And, oh, true, true. Like nowadays you can make it work. I could. I could just bring all six cats on tour. Yeah, just but like, I if I bring my boa constrictor, we have to be careful because mm, – um, I mean, considering how many cats your boa constrictor has eaten in its lifetime, I don't. we don't need it to have six more. Right, and I wouldn't want it to be like your cat specifically because I feel yeah. like that could make things awkward on the business front. Yeah, because it's fine if it's yours. I mean, you're on what, Juniper 3 now? Oh, thir- 13. 13? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, been a okay. while. It's I you, we have not updated on how many. Well, I haven't changed out any of their accessories, which is probably why they look the same to you. It's confusing. Yeah, it's yeah, confusing. like Moonshine yeah. with his pink collar. Um, yeah, in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> with the <laughs> Jesus Christ. It had a bell too, which was just it was oh, good no. because when I chased him down, I was like, at least I know where you are because yeah, he was tiny. But baby. I was like, this yeah. is terrible. I felt yeah. so bad. Like the reason I put it on was to like make sure he wouldn't run away yeah, like it wasn't yeah, yeah, like i was yeah. doing it for my own entertainment but yeah. anyway i still felt bad um and look at him he's a, fine i mean box now. it's might well. be a different one wait moonshine's in a box <laughs> no <laughs> no i was just gonna i meant he's fine like he's yeah, fine yeah, he's I a know. menace but yeah. beyond that um yeah he's fine oh well that was it thanks everyone wow. for hanging out um, i feel like i made that comment about how 
you could read all of Fox's reviews and know everything about him. And then I'm like, the things I say in this podcast, like, you could know everything. Like, people know things about me. Even Blaze will say something, and I'm like, how do you know that? He's like, you said it on your podcast. And I'm like, whoa. (laughs) I mean, like, what do I say? Why do I do that? It kind of alarms me sometimes. Like, I feel like there's going to come a time where we're just going to be like, you know what? Maybe we just wipe all of this. Yeah, like, do we need somebody? They have, I think... um, I mean, I'm sure they do, but like I think I've heard of um, people who hire like companies that just like scrub, like go yeah. through all of your shit, especially for people who've done, podcasted for 25 years, not 25, yeah. 15, 20 years. And like they're like, I don't know what I said literally 20 years ago. <laughs> like somebody yeah. go look because I'm sure over and, time. But then we're going to have the Streisand you know? effect, uh, you know. Also, which, right. which, which I actually, I don't know if I talked about this. I feel like I read this after the fact, after we talked about it on the episode. I couldn't, well, was, but I said, I don't even know what the star sand effect yeah. is, but I'm pretty sure this is what it is. And then no. you read the real definition. No, I did, but like I read more about it, I think is what I'm saying. Like, I know oh, I see, I see. About oh, it, I see. Unless I said this on the, I don't remember, but I read that apparently when she was, the, what she was actually doing was it was a picture of her house. That was and and the context was something about like erosion because it was right on the ocean or something. I don't know. It was like something. Her problem with it was that it said um, Barbara Streisand's house. She said she had no problem with the picture being on there, um. but the fact that it was like, hey, this is where Barbara Streisand lived. <laughs> so she actually, I think she claims this is what she claims that she like told her like agent or manager or whatever said like, hey, like get my name removed from this photo. But then they it went like and tried to up. get the photo down, and they were oh, so it geez. turned into this whole thing. Supposedly, she said in the end, she was like, "No, I just wanted my fo- my name not right. to be attached with which the photo." Which still like makes sense that yeah. that would be like a, like the effect, quote unquote, would yeah. s- still make sense because it's like, but well, even I if it was if, for if, a good cause, if the it, article had just been like just removed her name, it probably wouldn't have become a thing. But like, they oh, didn't. I see, because the article said like she's trying to get this picture taken down. Maybe I don't know how. See, that's the thing is I don't know how it all started. It was probably early internet. I don't know when exactly. Maybe maybe it wasn't even that early, but. Regardless, I don't know. I just well, she wrote that book that recently, that so I'm you know, sure that's, she that's. I think that's probably where she there. mentioned yeah. it. That's probably it. But it's a long um, ass book. I anyway, didn't read it <laughs> because it was so I, long. <laughs> now that we talked about wanting to scrub everything, we're probably it's <sighs> probably a, not going to happen. Okay. Um. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're going on tour very soon. Yeah. We're like yeah. leaving soon for a few weeks for uh, Seattle and. Portland, that's going to be amazing. And we've got 10 more dates after that, that uh, you can go to beachviewsandy.com slash tour, see all those dates. Um, tickets available in most of them. Um, and uh, yeah, and then patreon.com slash beachviewsandy, get ad-free listening. If you listen to this why episode wouldn't... with the ads and you were like, ugh, Why wouldn't ew. you want to uh, watch as I stare blankly at my fingernails as Alexander tells everybody the useful information at so the end true. of the episode. Why not? Why not? Come on. Why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you? It's, it makes it so much more fun. Mm. My, my really smiling, happy face. Uh, we can yeah, all pick our uh, nails together while Zandy talks. Yeah, $10. Uh, you get our faces, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fun. And oh, just the intro, outro. Oh, it's just so good. It's all so good. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. It's video intro that Zoe it. made um, oh and all, who does That's social fun. media for us. And um also, uh, buh, 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 we are doing – oh, our bonus episodes that we do every month already for Patreon are going to be in video as well for yeah. $10, folks. And, and those, those are, are off the – like those go like out of control with pictures, I feel like, usually because I usually bring the blankets. <laughs> so like, now I'm very excited so for – QVC and There's so much QVC. It's a very Amazon visual <laughs> That's a very good point. Episode. So That's I'm excited true. for that. That would be fun. For that shift. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So sign up. At, when you're listening to this, this is the first day of it. So sign up. And come see us pa- live, please. And please see us live. It's going to be so much fun. We always have a blast. And please. if you've seen our show before, it'll be a completely different show because we do it to a the new whatever, one every, city. every single time. Every single time. And we yeah. read about your city. We do, we do, and we embarrass ourselves about your city. But it's always fun to. It, it's always fun when we say something, and then you get we get groans, and like someone once like worked for somebody, like was like, oh, I worked for them. We were reading a shitty review. Oh, of like the when we read a certain location, yeah, and you're like, so oh fun. god. Like it's sometimes, bla- so uh, Blaze, <laughs> sometimes Alexander will say like, the Wendy's on Fifth Street, and everyone will go, whoa, and I'm like, what, like. How does everyone know that? I, okay. Yeah. And then, and then I'll be say like, like oh, the art museum and everyone will be like, 
Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow. So uh, Alexander's cracked the code. I, I try. Played. I try. Yeah. Anyway, can't wait to see you all there. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. And we love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.